All right, we're going to um, calibrate the EM38 Mark II. Um, basically, the first thing we've got to check is um, what our battery's like. And you can see on here the battery's uh, 1300. So anything from uh, sort of 700 up is, is, is plenty of charge. Um, what we do then is basically put it into just a normal operating mode. Um, place it down on the ground and go and, and, and get your stuff ready. Uh, start getting all the rest of the gear ready so this thing uh, warms up a bit and uh, gives it five or ten minutes of warming up. So we'll do that first. Alright, now we've had the uh, machine warmed up for five or ten minutes. Um, first thing you've got to do is make sure you take all your metal away from your body load. So keys, your you know, rings, um, coins, um, that sort of thing. Keep all that away because it will really affect the calibration. Um, what we do first is flip this into, into the one meter, one meter setting. <clears throat> so we're working with these two, two dials at the top, which are the one meter dials, adjustment dials. The ones at the bottom here are the half meter adjustment dials. So we'll do that in a minute. So you unflip uh, all the little locking nuts and you can see that the numbers there, uh, this is the in phase reading, that's the quad phase reading. This is the one we're interested in working on but we need to make sure that the in phase up here is around zero. So there we go, a slight little adjustment on that, on that uh, in phase one affected that. Therefore it's now somewhat close to zero. Um, this here we can see we've got a quad phase reading of 12. Um, if we now turn that um, up into the vertical mode, that's reading sort of 16 or sparing a bit. Maybe it's just metal a bit closer there. There we go. So say that's reading um, um, 16. It's a bit higher there. You take that um, the horizontal reading should be half of the vertical reading. So if you took, uh, say, 15 minus 12 is 3, you turn that quad phase back down, down to, say, that one needs to get back to 0, back down to, say, a little bit, down to, say, 3, a bit lower. When you turn this one here, that should be double that number, so you can see that's 9 or 10, this one should be about 4 or 5. So you can see there it's roughly roughly calibrated. So that, that quant phase reading is twice, sorry, is half what the vertical reading should be. And so the vertical reading there is jumping around a bit, but it's around about that 10. In this way it's um, 4 or 5. So we've done that one. So then you flip to the half meter one, put all those little locking nuts on to secure that in place. We're now switched over to the half 0.5 meter one. We're going to use these two dials now. Same thing, this is the quad phase, that's the in phase. Quad phase reading, in phase reading. You can see it's just on negative two, just wind it up a little bit, you've got it close to zero. This one here, same thing, that's a reading of four. That's a reading of five. So we need to just five minus one is five minus four is one, so we just dial our little quad phase reading back to one back there and this should be two. So that, this reading is always double what this reading is here in, in horizontal mode. So now that's that's properly calibrated. Um, make sure you flip the little locks over. Turn it back. It doesn't really matter what that's on but I, I usually just leave it on the one metre setting. Um, and then um, you've checked your battery so that should be right. You put it then uh, over in the box and we've got the sled here with the with the what we call the coffin, I guess. Um, so we lay that in there, it's nice and snug, and basically as low to the ground as you can possibly get it. And then you can go and set up your Bluetooth on, on your logging screen.